Well, hello everybody and welcome to Cat's Tiny Kitchen. I'm so glad you guys came to see me today. I just wanted to apologize. I haven't been able to video for a while. Um, Mike had his second round of chemo and radiation and that took up a lot of time along with housework and yard work. We got into our um, harvest season so I did a lot of canning and um, all of those fun kinds of things that come along with your fall harvest. Um, but we're here again now and I've got a really quick and easy recipe for you today. I'm going to make a cranberry relish. Um, this is one of my favorites for Thanksgiving. I do um, make this every year. Mike and I eat it. There are other family members that like it, but it's um, a delicious recipe, very simple to make, and you can add it to your table too. So let's take a minute here to get reorganized and we'll get the recipe going for you. This is a, a dish with only three ingredients and it's pretty quick and easy to make. So what I'm going to start out with here is I've got three cups or a 12 ounce package of cranberries that I've already gone through, washed, pulled out the bad ones, and prepped for the dish. Our next item is one navel orange. You need a seedless orange and actually the navel orange is the best orange for this. Last but not least we have one half cup of granulated sugar and it is so easy to do you would not believe it. it all you need is a food processor and your ingredients and that's it so let's get it going so you're going to add your cranberries and your orange I think I got a little straggler and your orange and I just add the whole thing. They tell, some of the recipes tell you add half of it and add the other half when it's done. I just add the whole thing. So that's my half cup of sugar. Now I'm going to put my little lid on my mixer. And I'm going to start pulsing it first. And we're done. Uh, what I'll do is put this in an airtight container and I'll put it in the refrigerator. It will last up to two weeks in an airtight container in your refrigerator so you can make this in advance for your Thanksgiving dinner. I um, will probably eat some before then but it is really good. So all we have left to do is take a picture and get it ready for dinner. Okay, so I've got a couple of side notes for you that um, I didn't cover while I was making this. As you notice, I didn't peel the orange. You don't have to peel the orange. It, the rind is edible and it actually gives a, a nice citrus flavor to your, your um, cranberry relish. Now if you're not a fan of the fresh relish, like we are, you can actually put it in a saucepan, heat it up, cook it down so it gets soft and then you can serve it that way. Um, for doing the, the sauce that way, I would omit the orange and kick up the sugar a little bit more and then you'll get a nice cranberry sauce instead of the relish, but we really do prefer the relish. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to cover with you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you try this recipe and you'll have to let me know how it turns out and if you like it. So with that being said, I would like to wish you a blessed day and thank you so much for coming to see me today.